Hey, good morning and happy Wednesday. Is your future so bright you gotta wear shades? Hey friends, I'm Andy Ross and I'm wearing some of my coolest funny glasses today. I've gotten a lot of mileage out of these. My favorite part is they flip down, they flip up, and they're just wild looking. I wanted to talk with you today about how you are seeing God in your life, the supernatural work of our Heavenly Father, and are you aware and cherishing that God, our Heavenly Father, sees you and sees you in the situation you're in? Not for guilt or blame, but more for his grace and mercy, which helps us get unstuck. Today in our schedule of scripture readings, uh, we are directed to the, the book of Genesis, chapter 16, verses 1 through 14. And it's a touching story of a woman named Hagar who is pregnant uh, because of those in Abraham and Sarah's family, there are some infertility difficulties. And uh, to make it quick, Hagar becomes pregnant, but there, becomes, there, there develops a huge conflict between Sarah, Abraham's wife, and Hagar. Hagar is mistreated. She runs out into the desert. An angel of God finds her and asks her, what are you doing here? And Hagar replies, I'm running away from my mistress, Sarai. The angel of God begins to speak to Hagar and encourages her that the child she will bear will be one of great promise, destiny, and purpose. His name will be Ishmael and uh, that he will be the leader father of a great nation. And Hagar is directed to return. God watching out for a woman and a baby who is not plan A of God's divine plan for the people of Israel. Can we just think about that? Our God is not an exclusive God for one person or clan or group. God cares about all people, especially women who are in distress, who are pregnant with a child. Hagar is so touched that the angel has found her, that God has reached out to her, that she replies, you are the God who sees me. I have now seen the one who sees me. And she calls God El Rai, the God who sees. I don't know what kind of a situation you're in today, <coughs> excuse me, or what challenges you're facing, difficulties. Life is not easy. But don't ever think the Lord is not watching you. Not to catch you or arrest you or blame you, but to bring you healing. To bring you home to where you belong in health, help, and love. How can you be an angel of God for someone in distress today? And how do you need to meditate on the fact that God sees you with eyes of love? Lord's blessings to you on this Wednesday.